Hi guys, welcome back. Just going to have a quick run through in setting up Backyard Nikon. I use the same settings for it and Backyard EOS as far as I'm aware. So I have a screenshot here in front of me of my settings on my previous system. So the first thing we're going to do is so throw it up to, or oh, maybe it will not, it's a bit large. I'm using a, a 32 inch TV, an old one for this. So I believe mine, my, TV, my camera is... Yeah, that's me here. So I'm at D7100. Couldn't remember how old my camera was there for a second. So one of the first things I click is I enable dithering. I use dithering as a fantastic feature. Um, don't know where I would be without it. So we go to the settings tab up here. And this is pretty much everything in one page, which is, which is great. So frame file name template gives you a drop down. So typically I actually didn't make a good copy of this. So uh, the temperature, I have a temper hum USB unit, so I think that looks okay for me. I'll just leave that as it is. Now, the folder, so I'll be using a custom folder. I have an SSD in this computer, and I don't really like to write lots of data to it whenever I don't need it. So we'll use the Backyard Neat One folder I created on my D drive. So if I load this up, my local drive, this is where my folders will, my photos will land when I take them using Backyard Nikon. Uh, my filter list, I generally only use a light pollution filter, as I use as I use a digital SLR plan folder. I think we'll just uh, have to make a new folder for that. Go here. That looks good. It's actually already made the folder. I'm just gonna have a look. Apologies, no, it's not near the folder that is on the other drive. So if I go to Backyard Nikon, make new folder, and we'll call it Plans. I don't particularly use Plans with Backyard Nikon, but I might as well have it all set up. So we will follow the same procedure again with this one. We will come down to my local drive. You may notice lots of uh, drives called storage. That's generally what I use for my network start, uh, network shares. That's that one. And PH, PhD I use. That there are some other ones. Uh, did they on startup? I do it out of the box. I'm going to raise my aggressiveness up to four. Um, looking down through, let's test. So if we start up PhD2, so that should start the server. PhD2. If we hit test, it will hopefully say. PhD dithering completed successfully. So the connection is up. That's great to know. Um, none of these settings have changed from my screenshot. I shoot raw. I don't see the point in shooting JPEG. Uh, I just I don't use it. Uh, what delay? No battery alarm. Um, I don't think the Nikon actually supports the low battery alarm, although I do have it as a 10 here, so I will leave that. Uh, We'll enable the server. I actually don't know what uses that server. Oh, I tell a lie. It's Astro Tortilla. That's what uses it. And these settings look fine. So if we hit save, that is us all set up. So I will disconnect, close, and close. And thanks for taking time to watch my video.